वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियर्स यूट्यूब चैनल एफ द कंटिलीवर स्पेन इज अप टू सेवन फीट सो व्हाट शुड बी द साइज ऑफ फ्लोर बीम विद स्टील रेन डिटेल्स इफ यू आर वर्किंग ऑन कंस्ट्रक्शन साइट इफ यू आर स्टडिंग सो दिस वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू पीपल टू वॉच एट द एंड टू गाइड यू फॉर इंपॉर्टेंट स्टील स्ट्रक्चर डिजाइन फॉर कंटिलीवर बीम इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन दिस चैनल सो यू मे like this video and subscribe the channel if you have already subscribed the channel so you may like this video because this is very interesting for you people the topic is cantilever beam span up to 7 feet first of all guys as you can see here in this diagram this is our cc column okay and this is cantilever beam this is its long section and guys you can see here this is its section first of all i will tell you this uh, this cantilever beam span up to 7 feet can work for two story building okay two story building for g plus 1 remember this point not for g plus 2 g plus 3 only for g plus 1 first of all i will tell you the size of the beam should not be less than because this is the uh, standard specially up to 7 uh, feet span a uh, 6 7 feet span here you can see this is 6 feet up to 7 feet you can keep the width of the beam 12 inches or you can say 30 cm okay sorry for this and guys you can see this is its depth so the depth should not be less than 18 inches or you can say 45 cm this is the depth of the beam next guys here if you see here the depth is guys you can see we have two depth one is here because this is support or column which is attached because here we don't have any support so this is free end so therefore this depth okay as you can see guys here we have a slope so this depth should be up to 6 inches this one and this one should be 18 inches here we will decrease the depth of the beam okay so there uh, with the slab this is 18 inches okay this is very important to know especially this point now let me guide you for its steel reinforcement details okay so first of all use M twenty grade concrete for this. Okay, which ratio is one ratio one point five ratio three. This is a grade of concrete. Okay, next one, guys. Concrete cover. should be 40 mm or 1.5 inch this is for concrete cover guys you can see here we have nine numbers of steel rods guys you can see clearly this is bottom so here you can provide three numbers of bars dia should not be less than 12 mm three bars and guys you can see two are side bars two bars dia 16 mm at top portion guys because this is cantilever beam oh, so here on the top of this we can provide the uh, as a balcony you can use it or for any for the terrace etc so it's depend on the requirement so there for at top portion we required four bars and the dia should not be less than 16 mm okay so these are steel reinforcement details if you see guys this is stirrup so use here 10 mm dia of steel rod with the spacing of 100 to 150 mm 
center to center okay this is its section now let me guide you in this long section if you see guys these are longitudinal bars so these longitudinal bars dia guys you can see which is 16 mm okay we have four bars at upper portion at bottom portion we have three bars dia 12 mm next one guys you can see these are stirrups okay here at the distance of l by 2 l by 2 mean at the distance of 3 feet or 3.5 feet so use here the dia 10 mm with the spacing of 4 inches center to center guys you can see which is 100 mm after at this place you can increase but here this is important to provide closely okay the spacing should be provide closely so here you can provide up to 12 mm 10 mm with the spacing of 6 inches c slash c now guys here you can see the development line this bottom bar is going to the upward side and the upward side is coming to the downward side this is called development line ld this ld should not be less than here especially it should not be less than 12 inches that's why because these bars should be provided with these bars should be connect or binded with longitudinal bars specially inside the column guys you can see this is column and this is the other column okay so here we should connect these to make a good bond between steel and concrete so the workman length is very important in cantilever beam because it makes a good bond between steel and concrete with column okay so this is very important to know specially these points which i am discussing next one guys you can see here the hooks so look at here these are hooks this one this section so this hook should be guys same like this okay this hook should be provide on 135 degree with 3 inches length okay this is also very important and it should be provide alternately don't provide at the same direction it should be opposite of each other if this one hook is at the upward side okay the other one should be at the downward side like this but don't provide at the same direction or left side or right side but the uh, each should be provide alternately then it will give you a good result because it resist with earthquake if you provide on 90 degree so you will mm -hmm. face more problems because it cannot uh, resist with earthquake so guys this is a short video to guide you for cantilever beam span up to 7 feet thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye